Oh yes, it's that time once again. Starting Max Payne 3. Well, not starting, but you know, I'm, I'm booting up Max Payne 3. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Okay, um, couldn't stream yesterday, even though I sort of wanted to, but I needed time for other things. So I would have done this a day ago, but oh well, that's what happens. Uh, anyway, it's been a few days since we played this. Really not much happened um, to move the story, it's just been more shit that Max has been going through. And uh, further deepening the plot, trying to find out who's behind all these attacks and who's conspiring with these mercenaries, why there's a PMCA. Uh, involved here. The biggest thing that happened was, um, what's it? I can't even remember their names. Um, somewhere towards the beginning, we rescued the girl that was the sister of the girl that got kidnapped, and then her brother, who was also kidnapped, um, and then he ended up dying because they put him in a stack of tires, poured gasoline over him, and lit him on fire. So that was cool. Uh, but the girl was still around, so Max went and saved her, um, and then we sort of are embarking on this sort of conspiracy that maybe, maybe his ex-partner, or well, I guess his sort of partner, again, who care? I can't remember his name, what, what's his name, Pablo? No, 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 something, I, he, he's the, he was the guy that was also hired to be the bodyguard for this family. Anyway, he might not be all that he seems to be. He might be on the take. Anyway, we went with, um... It was the question I kept on asking myself. Okay, I'll let Max I talk. been so blind. I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Yes, okay, so... We met with Mr. Government Man, who I guess is De Silva. And he disclosed all this information to us. Maybe Max is a stooge. He's the guy that's supposed to, you know, take the fall uh, for all this chaos that's been ensuing. And he's been set up by his ex-friend, so... Who knows? But right now, we've been sort of commissioned to go into this abandoned apartment and sort of clean house, so I guess we'll do that and see what comes out of it. Let me do a little double check here, just in case there's something in the rubble. Hmm. Examine what? Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. That should probably be able to smell it. But maybe they didn't want to go that much into detail. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. Also, Max made a suppressor out of a water bottle and duct tape. I have to question how effective that is, but I mean, I've seen probably lesser forms of suppressing a handgun, like a towel. If I'd thought about this too much, I'd never get through it. Mm. Okay, probably not gonna work. Usually even with the locks, the indicator turns red if you could shoot it. I don't want to blow my cover just yet. The Palace Hotel was a five-star bonafide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload. 
checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Oof. Turn down those visual effects a sec. Oh. For some reason I thought he'd <laughs> I thought he'd grab him. I guess that wasn't the case. Guess we're going loud. That didn't last long. Hello, what have we here? It's a hammer. Hmm. Not much ammunition for it, but hey. Also, what the hell? Oh. I thought it was a baseball bat. I'm like, shit. Maybe we could finally become Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Come out here. If we had a group of them, I'd probably use this hammer, but... I think there was three over there. Oh, we also brought the whole wall down, that's cool. Okay. I don't think a leather sofa is gonna offer much protection. I see. That was a bad waste. Damn, I'm gonna have to pick up one of these ARs. Drop the hammer, come back for it. And because I am out of handgun ammunition. Excuse me?
Oh, don't be shy. I'm sorry, I can't see where you are. Well, the indicator's giving me a red reticle. All right, whatever. He was all the way over there. Jeez. I saw a golden part over here. Oh, there it is. I apparently saw through uh, the waiter cart. <laughs> so did this lock? Shit. All right. I guess we're not getting the hammer back, but that's probably for the best. Would have been nice to have it there. I want to look behind you. When you find yourself in hell. Dance with the devil. What do you have? What is this? Sure, I'll take it. Why not? De Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. Passos's ID card. Passos, that's it was no name. great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? I knew it started with a P. Still alive? Okay. Man, that was a powerful kick. Really did him in. Too close. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees a bad caricature of a better man. You know, all hell's about to break loose around this corner. Stuck in here real quick, see if there's anything. Oh, hey. You know, I don't think I've come across many RPGs. I mean, I've had plenty shot at me, but... I've never actually picked one up, so... First one I get, if I find all these parts, it might just be a golden one. was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Quick. I said get them. Scrum. 
Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. So that was the guy that initially kidnapped the girl at the beginning. And actually I left him no alive. Choice but to push on. Twice. I didn't understand everything, and I never would. But I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. That looks modern. Oh, right, he dropped the thing with the drum. Oh, well, at least this is a golden one. Wait, let me get that part. Oh, is that... It? Two for one, huh? Not bad. It's a shame I don't have more ammunition for this thing. Oh, maybe these guys do. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Now do the thing, do the melee. You were close enough the first time around. Okay, let me hide behind this lawn chair. I'm sure that'll provide great cover. Lucky, lucky bastard. I think I keep overcompensating for where they're actually going to be at that time. Nice still shot. Get out, get out, get out. Shit. I thought it was angled a little bit further towards that area. Some more ammunition. Get away from that.
Oh boy. For some reason, I'm getting reminded of Spec Ops The Line. Which I don't think was released too far from around when this game came out. It might have had a lot of influence uh, from Max Payne 3 if it was released after. Because they do have pretty similar uh, gameplay styles with the cover system, third person shooting, weapon inventory. From what I remember, I've only played it once. What a fine game that was, though. It's a shame that you would have thought with as much critical acclaim and everything that that game had, and as well received as it was, um, that they would have made a sequel. But it's been years. I think it's a. I think it was 2K that published that game, or they developed it. I'm not too sure. But um, I think I remember reading that it didn't perform too well financially which is a shame so that's probably why they haven't wanted to put any more money into any others this was hell on earth De Silva was no fool I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him pup. but I was in too far now anybody else got ammunition for this thing doesn't really look like it um, why don't we trade out for that? There were still two more floors above. Noticing a lot of this gun, but nobody had any ammunition for it. Or that guy didn't. Where those bastards were going, they wouldn't need medication. What's this? Why was it so massive? No, not that one. Not that one either. Oh. That's the spaz I had. Never mind. Get something that's going to be a little more reliable. Let's see what fresh hell awaited me upstairs. All right, Max, don't get antsy. Just checking things out. I'd like to get that golden RPG. Okay. Right. He played the piano in the last game. Why not? <laughs> Why not do it again? There it was. The soundtrack to my life. And, for a few seconds, came harmony. Finally. <laughs> they did a better job than he did in the last one. this what, what does he have the fuck is going on here how, how much do you want what have you been doing i am a doctor i help people what have you been doing here it's easy for you listen i know people they will kill you i can help you trust me please please what have you been Doing. I have a lot of money. Look, look, lots of money. I do important research. Please. God, are you? God, are you? Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo, tudinho. Deus, por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus. 
For all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. So yeah, I was gonna say, but I mean, there's a big old, you know, cutscene, so. Uh, but when we saw the people down there, I was questioning what exactly they were there for, and I was gonna say, it looks like they might be doing some sort of body harvesting, because some of them didn't have, you know, limbs or eyes or something like that. If it was a slave trade, I don't think they would have roughed them up as bad as they did. But yeah, that, now that confirms it. Taking out kidneys, hearts. Even I could guess what Demolisao meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. Unfortunately, there's a lot of space to cover here, so... I'm gonna have to check every spot just to make sure I'm not missing something. Ooh, pizza. There had to be something I wasn't seeing. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Golden FMP, so at least we completed one of them. Normally don't have two parts in one location, but as I said, this is a large area, so you never know. Okay, I think that's it though. Oh man, an armory. A fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground. So I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. Make sure to take a gun. We're doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Were the crush of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? It's likely. You should probably take that receipt. But you didn't. I had to hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. I get that, man, but there's a lot here. I'm curious to see what this does. I also don't know where we need to go. Oh, okay. We're just planting more explosives. I'd seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes. He didn't die. Why'd he give me the slow-mo thing then? That 
least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. Good. Okay, there's only three of those, right? Yeah. It's kind of weird that it wasn't symmetrical, but I guess it's okay. What is that? Okay, just some kind of shotgun. I think I'll stick with this. Even though I can sort of see them, I can't really fire at them yet. Shots work. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, or should I take? Yeah, there might be more future areas where I need to go long range. Can't really see what you're doing back there. I don't know where you are. Shit. Oh, they're behind me? Zipped right on out of there. I guess he locked into cover. Any time I'd bought, it had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. Oh boy. Groin shots are a thing, huh? I know target. Okay, we got another wide area here. I'm gonna have to check and see if there's that last gun part. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Got the golden RPG now. I was at the top of this house of cards. Now is the time to play my ace. was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building and all the evil in it. Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? 
Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senhor Neves. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem. My problem. Want to know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue. That's what my fucking problem is. I don't know what you're talking about, American. <laughs> New York accent coming out. Hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the record! Oh, so people can sell their livers, their hearts, their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, you're... Powerful people are gonna help you out of this one, buddy. Jeff. Usually four is all you needed, but I guess not in this case. Ah. What the hell did it hit me with? I just had like full health pretty much. Back in the cover? What are you doing? Oh god. Oh, that's what was happening. It's like it wasn't letting me aim. Nope. There he goes. Shaking, shaking. Give me that thing. The sniper scope is of use to me now. this time I knew something was gonna happen to that door I just didn't think it was gonna you know explode ah shit or that there'd be people that would just pop up on the roof that's not good either. Oh. 
Okay. I thought it was like systematic. All the way back here? Shit. Well, where was I supposed to go exactly in that last little effort of escape? Okay, I gotta let the thing explode. Back here, shit's still shaking around. I think I need to be using more slow mo than I have been. Give me a different gun, thanks. Do you get anything for ass shots? This guy's on his ass. Speaking of. Okay, I see the helicopter. I'm assuming that's where you're supposed to go, but... Didn't to go for the door at all. Who's shooting at me? Get out of here. Let me get in the helicopter. What the hell? Why can't I do anything with it? Do I need to kill somebody specific? Maybe I need to see the building collapse. Shaking, God damn it. Okay, now I can't get to the helicopter at all. What do I do? Do I jump? Do I climb? What do I do? This whole thing is just timed, so you just gotta be fast, I suppose. But I don't, if you're supposed to take the helicopter, I don't see why the helicopter doesn't just allow you to take off. Unless they're using some kind of logic like you need to get, grab keys or something, I don't know. Stop with the shit. Stop it. Stop it, goddammit. Stop! It completely overrides your controls, so it's not like you can even compensate for it. It like shifts the uh, targeting reticle down when it starts shaking like that, so. No time for this shit. Whoa, okay, that guy freaked out. Okay, so let's forget about the helicopter. Kill that guy. Get some more ammunition, I suppose. Go over here. Kill that guy. Okay, I guess I had to get that one because I was dying.
Okay, then this guy comes out. Right, this is what we didn't see beforehand. Shit. Okay. So. No, I'm trying to. There you go. I do not retry. Oh, at least it saved a spot of the minigunner. This fucking shit with the goddamn tremors, though. I like this first person mode. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen, but good job, camera. Bosses, brothers hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get into loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. This thing works. Oh, since he was in a helicopter beforehand, I just thought he brought another one by. But I guess he worked his way up the building. Sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't her fault. I was paid to protect her and I didn't. She married into a sick family. Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York, uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know, uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be, figure I... Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming, you know, you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I... You better hope it didn't turn out I like Max. Say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've, uh, looked through this information you gather. It's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. 
this was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga <laughs> Becker. Kevin Parev. Ah! Hey, olha aqui. Tropa, tropa. Ei, moço. Mano, o que é esse cara aí? Faz a tua conta, rapaz. Vai, vai. Conta o teu. Ei, o que é essa cara aí? Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, me dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, faz dela no dia. Just walk by that. I can't hear you. What are you what doing you here? What are you doing you here? Hit me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. Okay, so we know that these people. Wow. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second. Um, I'm also getting a text that might be important. Um, okay, cool. Sorry, I was just house sitting for my uncle and apparently he just got back. Okay, so these guys aren't really cops, I don't think. This is the PMC that we saw. May I don't know. They were they're wearing the same uniform of the people that were like maybe, no, maybe the PMC was like the mercenaries. The, these these are like the um what's it? Also, I didn't know you could do this. This is interesting. <laughs> um the local high security special forces people. And we know that they're not so great either, so... So he's not just coming in here killing... I mean, he is killing cops, but he's not killing good cops. So... I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the... Oh. I don't know, I keep going, I was just... A little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces... How'd they all get guns? I was on their side, but how could they know that? 
If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense the Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. Okay, so what kind of a gun we got? Let's, let's just pick up another one of those. Also, let me go back in here. Because I saw one, I saw meds. Shit, little cash. No gun pieces or anything, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, no gun pieces anywhere. So if you could just let me know when it's 2.30. That way I just don't miss it. Away in the corner there, I didn't see that. I'm trying to be careful. Yeah. Actually, it's pretty close quarters in here. I don't think we're gonna open up anytime soon. Maybe I should take a shotgun. Yeah, it's a golden one at that, so... Somebody speaks English? see where this guy is. He sees me, but I can't see him, but alright. Maybe he's behind here. The last few prisoners were trapped in here, more pressingly. Seemed I was too. This guy first, why not? Ooh. I can't I can't do that, man. I'm sorry. I know you want me to shoot him, but I, it's it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Unfortunately, when you're undercover or the things like that, it doesn't give you full range, so you can only go as far as it lets you, and in some cases, it ain't gonna be far enough. Because maybe the enemies are moving. And that's not fair. A shot to the face is a shot to the face.
Just trying to break away from cover because I was going to end up in the same situation, but then... You know... All the way back there. People are gutsy, they don't take cover. They don't do none of that shit. Just in case it ended up like that last guy who was still kicking even though it gave me the slow-mo thing. I just keep keep hitting the trigger. Let's figured I'd bag those up for evidence. The security switch had to be in that booth. Yeah, probably, but you know, you know how things is. Um I don't got much ammunition in it anyway. No, not that one. There it is. here oh wow they just had that sitting around the police station idea there was no point bouncing bullets off that thing I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off but why was he firing at the roof regretted that decision that thing don't gotta reload anytime soon does it oh there it goes Just one. One gonna do me? Oh yeah, cool. Oh. I thought there'd be more coming out. Not him. Whatever. Maybe I should just keep these two. And what is this? Ah, a law part. Shit. I hesitated at the last second. I'm like, oh wait. Well, wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off.
Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward. Nothing changes. That's very deep, Max. Actually, probably should take that shotgun since I'm running on ammunition here with these two handguns, but, uh... Eh. Auto. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. You can if there's gonna be super gun pieces or medication. Toilets too, that's an important part. But the only friend I had left in that town. So what is the uh like escape plan for this? It seems kinda kinda like a dire situation. or anything. No. Police food. The same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. blood money from the good doctor. Serrano had cancelled one side of that transaction. The other was on me. Security cameras were still running. Give me that gun. Wait, no. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's going to decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator, tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. See past those plants, but you know. Ah. 
I'm coming from the back too. Last second didn't work. Oh, no, 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 Max. You don't need to. You don't need to break the window. It was. It was already broken. Oh, these yucca plants. dark too so I can't quite make out exactly where I'm shooting it's okay though wait wait no mm hmm Try something a little bit more forward. I guess it didn't work out so great. Oh. These last little sections are a little bit uh, rough. Rising. That meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. Yeah. I also need to keep getting some ammo. Not to lose out here. Hey, hey, Luckily, hey. I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem. All right. I saw the elevator doors were open. Yeah, but I'm checking things, man. I'm going to be patient under pressure. If there was one thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. So hold that thought. Just a sec. So I actually have to send a message out.
that should do for now. Sorry, buddy. Whatever depressing Looked like a janitor. On the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer. So he was playing cards by himself. Um, now I'll go with this thing. This little bullpup looking SMG. Ooh, it is not very accurate. Or, well, it's accurate, but it's got a lot of kickback. Look how much it jumps. It's a little weird. I guess when you get the laser point, it um, overrides the reticle, which is fine and everything, I guess. But when you're so used to firing via a reticle, and then you move right to laser point, I don't know. Getting up for more. Oh boy. I was getting that helmet. than cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail, but it was too late for that now. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Oh, only 36. Uh, I'm sure that's not standard issue for most of these guys. And they sure do love their cantaloupe here. In hurry, Becker would be long gone. Hold on. AUP. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them off about the money? Okay, hold on. I gotta send another message here. Um. enough hopefully that got through okay well no now we can go back to the game all right um look at all, look. or is that watermelon i thought it was cantaloupe because it was orange i 
I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. Oh yeah, I'm sure that uh, mob boss is still looking for him. I thought that there'd be some resolution to that, but I guess not. Dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time. The CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo, and suddenly Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. They'd really gotten their money's worth outsourcing their problems onto me. My old pal Serrano. We'd both been unwitting clowns in this sorry circus. Part of me hoped he'd made it out of that hotel alive. I didn't recognize the guy. Maybe this was the new slum king De Silva had talked about. A throne never stays empty for long. Fame at last. It was no great surprise I'd made Ufe's most wanted list. I hadn't done much to improve the reputation of Americans abroad over the past few weeks. And there they were, my illustrious employers. Three dead and still, every chance I'd go four for four. None of this was going to look good on the resume. And I was in good company. Howell Passos, sent up north to find a washed up gringo who would act tough and play dumb. Boy, did he ever deliver. Saw something yellow, I can never be too sure. Sorry. Didn't mean to startle you folks. I'm coming from the back there, huh? Okay, the notice got sent. All right. Yeah, I was. That's what I, who I was talking to just now. So, or typing to rather. Uh, I think I like this thing. What I got right now, probably not gonna switch for a shotgun. It was starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. I don't think I've ever had one of those, but all right. So I just noticed that nothing I was going to find in there could make a difference now. I had all the evidence I needed. No. Yeah, but the weapons. Um, I just noticed that the uh, Special Forces unit uniforms, they look a little bit like the RCPD default uniforms. Actually, they kind of very much look like them, but... <laughs> No gun pieces in the evidence room? That's unusual. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. This was a waste of time. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. <laughs> I think I was holding up too much. It just kind of went right up there. Coffee mug. There it was, 
the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. I'd seen enough. It was time to bring this nightmare to an end. Okay, where are they gonna be coming from? Guess not that way. What do you want me to kill? Okay. Don't know what I'm shooting at back there. out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't gonna find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. Okay, yeah, let's trade up for double Uzis. Here, hold on a sec. I saw the guy had one, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Nice. Okay, and I will take this. Which is also a golden weapon, so that's cool. Hey pal, nice to see you. Vai pra casa, gringo de merda. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. Then you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. It's also the way to go, Max. Jeez, what do you have? He should try to hoist himself into one of those vests. Oh, I can't take cover from the skinny side.
Okay. Weird angle. But I'll just shoot whatever I can. Another pile of bodies and still nothing to show for it. It felt like I was detaching. That maybe this was revenge for something else. Something buried deep in the past. I don't know, when a bunch of Brazilians come at you with weapons, I'm not too sure that's some sort of recompense for anything. Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked in a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best. Oh. Hold on. Oh, we can't get into the shooting range? Facility, though. Hello, buddy. I'm sure, you stay dead. Someone else up top there? No. Can I drop the laser sight? I'm just gonna do double Uzi. Seemed the anti-drug squad had a few habits of its own. Okay, what'd you bring me? I'll take one of those. Maybe I want this instead. Okay, there goes the helmet. I remember there being a fourth guy. They didn't put much resistance up, though. All right, now let me go pick up this thing I had. There we go. Oh. Well, shoot. Um, hold on. 
there. Nice. And I guess that's all I can take. Fair enough. Is there a way to... Oh, there you go. I'm gonna switch shoulders there. It felt like I was going around in circles, getting further away from the truth. I had to find my way out of there. <laughs> Oh god. Ah. Rushed me. Rushed and flanked. I'm gonna keep them guessing, but I guess the sandbags are better cover. Nobody asked you to come over here. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, yeah, I saw a gun piece. Is that only two? Man. They've been spacing them out, or I've been missing a couple. Put that gun down. There you go. Get out of here. Any bullets I had left were being saved for someone special. Becker and Bachmeyer had taken their pound of flesh and sold it on the black market. Now I was coming for mine. Wait, hold on. Wow. Guy got shaky hands. Oh no. Didn't expect there to be someone down here. Ah. Yeah, my mistake. Wow. <laughs> I didn't last long. I guess I could shoot you out of the air. Get out of here.
Oh yeah, this is a much better spot. Okay. Take those two. This guy trying to tease me? And actually, I can't really see where they are from here, so I guess this isn't as good a spot as I thought it was. Cannot get you from there. This guy's got pretty decent camouflage with all that black and blue they were. See that guy? He's actually going for this one over here. Alrighty. issue maybe now we're good okay but I do have to reload my chat so there you go oh yeah this might come in handy at some points like if I can't see something maybe you can try rotating the camera a little bit The ads. I couldn't get a direct shot. I was gonna have to get creative. Even if you're a Twitch partner, his cover was too good. You can only choose some ad placements. Like if you want to put an additional one up, they still put them at the beginning and end of your streams. I hope it wasn't worth it. No. I didn't think he was shooting at me. Okay, well, let's start off by taking this gun out first. Oh, I didn't do it like last time. And get up. God damn it. Shit. gun something I need is it good I think I'd rather keep the golden weapon those ceiling tiles looked kind of loose it was worth the shot I was shooting those but then I got shot in turn so but yeah let me get those meds first
That accomplished what I needed to accomplish? I oh, don't know, he's just running away. I was, I was hoping I could get back into the little office area here. That didn't really happen. I mean, I was right there. I guess I just kind of hit up on the uh, side for a sec. But anyway, now I can grab this thing. See if there's any ammunition I can take. Okay, where are they coming from? Excuse me? He's still up there. Shit. I figured I could get up there because those soldiers came down. But I guess they locked the door behind them. Just shoot it, it's glass. This was the pass key to Becker's office. This I was bulletproof. The end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know. Everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? No, we already we already figured that out. You were behind all this. Yeah, we knew. There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor. I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you'd live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work my family and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the Crasha Preto for us. You know I'm tough on crime. I give you a bonus, but I think you just fritter it away. Becker, take his gun. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way you can put up a fight, so... hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. <laughs> God damn it! I was gonna say, we're they're gonna end up with another helicopter chase thing. Not really a chase, but trying to stop a helicopter from taking off. But, maybe not, I guess. Maybe he's taking a private jet. Okay, Max. Now you've checked the main terminal. I'm gonna go and look for the Bronco plane by the hangar, okay? Let's do it. You keep an eye out in there. You know Becker's gonna have some guys in there watching out for you. Yep. So, of course, I knew they were looking for me. But the airport was about the only place a fat gringo might blend in. Well, there or a sex club. My delusions of disguise lasted around two seconds. They were out in force, and they were out for me, but then I was out for them, too. Every last one of those bastards. Uh, Max Payne turned into John McClane. Did some vent crawling in the last chapter, and now we're in an airport. Good stuff. On the conveyor belt system, no, no less. Oh, whoa, it was really laggy here. Oh, come on with your helmets. I got a headshot I expected to stick. Especially if you're like not wearing any facial protection with the helmet. 
Really? You know, a shot in the face is a shot in the face. That came up quick. Excuse me. Weapons for me. Uh, this laser sight shit sucks, especially if they're like really long ways away from you. Just give me the handgun back, goddammit. Actually, give me that one. Just because we're coming to a close here doesn't mean that there ain't gonna be no more uh, golden gun parts, so... I'll give everything a good once-over before I move on. Oh, I saw that little area in there, but I guess I can't get to that. Nothing up here either, huh? Somebody's luggage ain't reaching their flight. I make that out. Wait, what was that? Ah, uh, there's a part over there, but I can't reach it yet. Also, I hear somebody, but I don't see them. There you are. If you want to be technical about it, the rotary grenade launcher. I felt like my vacation was coming to an end. Only I wasn't heading home with a sunburn, a bag full of duty free, and a dose of VD. I was making a bet that would put me in handcuffs or a body bag. Again with the helmets. Yeah. 
shoot those doors open. Oh, <laughs> like that looks like a golden part, but now that's just the uh, drum from my own golden weapon. I thought there was somebody over here. These were Becker's guys. Him and Victor had a private airport to go with their private army and their private jet. Hold on, let me go back here. The doors lead in the direction of the main terminal. Well, maybe we should check out what's in here then. Hey, there you go. The customer restroom. I could get through to the departure gates up ahead. Nothing was happening back here. You never know where the action was. Okay, that's a double stall. They just give out free meds and public restrooms. That's cool, I guess. There were Ufe all over the airport and civilians were being moved out. Looking at it one way, shutting down the airport for their escape was a weird sort of compliment, but one I didn't need. You, you kind of had good, better cover over on the other side, but all right. So Max, 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 every time we move to a new area, you got to switch to your handgun. That's not a good idea. Forget it. Give me up that escalator. Shit. Oh God. I see blood, but I don't see X's. It's a little too far for me to actually hit him all that accurately. I was wondering who's firing at me from below. Gate 
it opened at the other end of the departure lounge. Grenade where? Get those things past the TSA. Good way to hold your gun. Oh shit, I need a breather. <laughs> Look at all this mess. Maybe they were in the next terminal. I'd keep looking until Victor sent me a postcard from Miami. Okay, all right. Come on, friend. Both know you're behind there. Don't know what you said, sorry. Okay, also that terminal is a big space. I'm sure I missed something down there. Shit. I'd kind of like to not miss certain things, but I don't think I have a choice in some of these instances. Played it without dicking around here. Oh, that guy's hopping. What happened to him? Did he fall down the stairs? I don't think this is the same guy. Maybe it was the same guy. Maybe just hightailed it to the back there. Bad thing to get in. Ah. Yeah, I should have stayed in the back. Way back here, huh? Get out of here with that helmet. Escalators. Yes, it is. Oh. So I should check. Yeah, this guy's coming up here. So we got two guys, one on the left, one on the right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Probably not the way to go. No ammunition for that, huh? Reason why I went down into the tram was because I was afraid they'd run up it flank me, but it seems like there's a lot more people coming up the center here. Whoa! <laughs> Hello! One of the smartest thing to do on his part, but... Nice close-up.
didn't look like there'd be any trams leaving until the power was on. Wonder why. Laser sight, no thank you. It worked. The trams were running again. Maybe they'd take me to my gate. Maybe they'd bring more guys wanting to whack me. Maybe both. Maybe both, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't see that. Thanks. Guess that's part of the reason why they did it. Oh, there you go. Wow, that was lucky. Of course, I wasted a shitload of ammunition. In particular, it seems like the Ufe, they flail a lot more than other dudes. So once you hit them, they just immediately arch back and then their heads go all out of whack and then you can't shoot them in the head and then you gotta shoot them in the body. It's not a good situation to be in. Um, oh, that tram already left, so I guess we're taking this one. And we were off. I felt like I might be able to recharge for a second. At least until we pulled into the station and met more murderous assholes. That's always a seat I take too. I like to go in the very back. Son of a bitch. It didn't work out like that. Of course there'd be a tram full of goons trying to derail me. The hell are you guys laughing at? <laughs> I thought this was a shotgun. I mean, it didn't really look like it, but the fact that it was shooting single shots. I'm just gonna take this back. Oh, fuck off with their helmet. Saved by the beam. Don't you guys ever want to like stay down after getting shot? I think I could incapacitate people, not necessarily have to kill all of them. But no, they take their jobs way too seriously. Okay. 
Tramps usually travel pretty fast at an airport. Everyone wanted a ticket for the Max Payne Express. Surprise. But, uh... That chopper coming down was able to match their speed so... Quickly. So I can't see shit back here. Get those helmets off, people. Participant in the back. Okay. I felt like I'd missed out on the joke, and it was a real good one. Come on. I just run to the back. You'll be all right. Oh, okay, or you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty damn gutsy. The tram was slowing down, and I'd only just gotten on board. I had to salvage what I could and see what was waiting for me. I haven't had five meds in a long time. This was my stop. It had taken me right into the heart of it. Oh God. Decker's gimps were everywhere. So he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar. But when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey, Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks. Let me walk in the main entrance. I'll put a big shit eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me. That's my style, and it's too late in the day to hope for change. Boy, were they throwing numbers at this problem. But then, I'd chosen to be here. I wanted this. Was it redemption? Not really. It was pathetic desperation. And not much else. The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. There the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. I ain't got nowhere else to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Mate! Mate agora! Não! Não! That helmet off. Shit. What the hell are you aiming at? No thanks. Ah. Cut that at the last second. Okay. No, not him! I 
Auto aim has been screwing me over a little bit more often than lately. These guys came up fast. Ah, shit. Um, okay, I guess you can't cover behind the, uh, the jeep. <laughs> so, we probably don't want to take cover. Shit, you did it again! Yeah, hold on. Okay, never mind. You're pissing on another man's pool wax. did this so well the first time around, but it has not been kind to me. Okay, you gotta get up, my friend. No, not. You got it. There's the grenade. Okay, I guess it didn't matter. I wonder if you move too far up if he just if he just fires a grenade because that seemed awfully quick since the last time he fired one. They seem to go off in slower intervals. So like the game just prevents you from going up there because I don't know. There's probably a specific way they want you to kill him. Oh, 
That's how you do it. And there goes the arm. This was it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product, and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I figured there wasn't gonna do much anyway. Get in, Max. You're a little late. I'm in, just drive the fucking car. Go! We had one card left to play. Just get me close. Ah. Fuck! A squad is coming from the right! Passenger side! Yeah, trying. It's. I haven't really used this thing too much. You kind of have to play with the range. Enjoy a trial and a spell in prison. Let him suffer. Trust me. <laughs> you know I'll walk. You'll walk with a I was gonna say shoot him in the leg. <laughs> That's good too. Yeah. 
It's not yet clear whether his death was a suicide or simply retribution for his part in a scandal that has so many families missing loved ones that were kidnapped and killed. City officials say a full investigation Local is justice. underway. Local residents expressed outrage and say they have been let down by both law enforcement and city leaders. And now, your local forecast. Boy, it's dark in some places, but it's sunny everywhere else. Over to Marisol with the weather. Damn. All right. Oh, that was a hell of a game. Oh, I thought we were coming up on the end, so I wanted to... I mean, there's more reasons than one why I'm streaming early, but I wanted to give myself plenty of time just in case it ended up being on the longer side. And how long did we go for? Doesn't seem like it's been that much longer than a standard stream. Two and a half hours. Okay, so I gave myself an extra half hour, I suppose. But um, yeah, that was pretty good. <clears throat> and I was kind of looking to finish it up this week anyway, so I'm glad we were able to do that. Uh, but yeah, pretty good game. Um, some minor issues. Uh, especially that I was expressing just a few minutes ago, sometimes the auto-aim screws you over, especially when there's a lot of enemies on screen. Um, just because your reticle is near one that's in the back, sometimes if you hit it, you know, it'll, it'll automatically go to somebody that's a little bit closer towards you technically, but not where the reticle is, and that kind of pissed me off a couple times. Um, didn't work out so well when it came to that grenade section at the very end. And then um, uh, there's a few instances inside the the police department area where it wasn't working out so great for me, just because I think of the sheer number. And sure, you can turn the uh, auto aim off. I can't imagine what the full aim would be like. I imagine that would suck. But I figured, hey, this is a Rockstar game. It feels kind of like the default uh, Red Dead aiming system. And I'm like, yeah, I'll just stick with it. And by the end there, I was like, I've, I've been playing the whole game like this. I'm not going to just turn it off now. Um, so, yeah, you, you could rectify that pretty simply, but I don't know. I, I feel like they definitely polished it by the time. Um, actually, this came out after Red Dead Redemption, didn't it? Or did it not? I don't remember. Anyway, I felt like the original Red Dead was a little bit more polished. Uh, as far as the aiming goes, the auto aim function. And then, uh, Artigard 2, obviously. But, oh well. Um, other than that, I mean... It's such a weird thing to judge it against the first two Max Paints. It's a different studio. It's a completely different setting. The only thing that's a holdover is, uh, the character. And, uh, it's a handful of the story beats, but not really. And then, um you know, some somewhat similar mechanics, but then they add their own with the whole cover system and all this other stuff. So it feels much more modernized. I think this one was probably a little bit funner to play than the other two games. That's just personal preference, just because it's, it's more what I'm accustomed to as far as third person shooters go. That's not to take anything away from the original two Max Paynes, but uh, I think it just feels more like a, a third person game that I'm used to playing. So in those regards, uh, I think, it's probably a little bit funner for me. Um, the story I was getting more into, I think, than I was with the uh, last two games. And I don't know, I couldn't really tell you why. It, uh, obviously with the first two Max Paynes, you're really heavily bent on that uh, the film noir type story. And which are good, but they're, I don't know. It's It's a hard thing to describe. I felt like this one, it felt, you know, we had the neo-noir, which I've expressed before, but then it had beats of, um, you know, like modern crime films. So, uh, it was, it, it more was something that I could get into, I suppose. And I think the story was pretty good. I don't think it was the greatest thing ever, but it definitely draws you in. And it, uh, it was fascinating to see it play out to the end. 
and we get a somewhat happy ending. Who would have, who would have thunk it? I thought for sure that uh, Max was going to end up dead by the end of it, but Nah still walks off into the sunset. So good for him. I um, always wondered if they were ever going to do another one. It's been a while, but I guess this was... <sighs> you wonder if Remedy would ever come back and try to you know, try their hand at making another Max Payne again, or if we were to get a sequel, if it would be a Rockstar game. If it's a Rockstar game, obviously they don't, uh, they don't pump out games like some other companies do if they're handling the development themselves. So if we're getting another Max Payne, it's probably going to be a few years from now. Uh, and then Remedy just finished up with their, or they're finishing up with their what the hell is the name of the game? Control, or is that the is that the ad campaign phrase? Uh, so they've got a new game coming out. Who knows what their future projects will be? I don't think anything's been disclosed, but possibly. Who knows? Anyway, my point is, it'd be nice to see a new one after all this time. Especially since we're looking to get into the new generation. I don't know that. Uh, you know, we could we could skip this one and then move on right to the next thing, whatever that may be, but. It would be it would be a nice thing to see. Uh, but yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. It was fun to play. Had a nice story, easily to get in, easy to get into, I should say. Nice little collectibles with the clues and the gun parts. Even though I missed a lot of them, so I guess that's better. More replay value, perhaps. But I think. Um, I gotta say, I think uh, Max Payne 3 is probably my favorite of all of them, but they're all good, so just take that away. Nice length, too, as for a game, and it never really felt like it was going on too long. The difficulty definitely ramped up towards the end, too. I was saying this one felt a lot easier than the first two, just kind of through the course of it. Sometimes I'd throw a lot of shit at you, but it would sort of come down and... You know, it wasn't it wasn't too bad throughout. But this this stream, I don't know, maybe I was just having an off day, but I think it was just harder. <laughs> it just got more difficult by the end of it, and then you'd expect it to. I don't think we reached the frustration levels of some of the other stuff, like the uh, the helicopter in the first one, or the elevator in the first one. <laughs> um, I know there was a couple parts in the second game too, but I can't think of what they are. Something I didn't like. Maybe it was the end when you're fighting off uh, Vlad. Because I remember that was a little bit of a pain. But um, I would say for this game, that part was probably the end there with the whole grenade thing. And you have all the people coming at you. There was a couple moments where I was just like, what am I going to do here? Shit. But you could get through it and you just got to... Oh, and that's right, the whole building collapse. That wasn't too fun. I would say those are probably the two most frustrating parts. Building collapse thing was timed, so you gotta move through there quickly. Um, but then you had the tremors, and it would force your reticle down. You couldn't move it up regardless. So, like I said, it's not like you could compensate for the... and just kind of fire in the general area and hope to hit somebody. The game would literally move your reticle down, and you couldn't pick it up. So at that part, you just kind of had to let it go. I would say that was that was not so fun. And then the whole grenade thing at the end was um, not that fun either. Uh, not just the grenades being fired at you, but when you had the hammer. <laughs> if you, you, I think you get the weapon one time before. I don't recall getting it before that. And wide open area, you kind of got to judge your shots a little bit. The reticle isn't normally what you'd have for a grenade launcher like that. Normally you'd have the um, distance indicator with the vertical uh, measurements. So, eh. oh well, I guess, whatever. I mean, it wasn't bad because you know, I got through it the first time, so it's not like I missed anything, but it just felt hard to control. But aside from that, I got no complaints. It's a good game, so there you go. Recommendations. Anyway, that is going to be it. So we'll go ahead and move on to a new game probably next week. Um, something completely out of left field, I'm sure, if uh, I'm going to do what I think I'm going to do. So stay tuned for that, but we'll be doing more Oracle of Ages. 
uh, Spider-Man DLC probably. And I'll find some time to squeeze dreams in there at some point as well. I doubt this game has any post credit scenes. Let's just see what I could do. Loading. And main menu. And you get to see Max in Havana or wherever he ended up drinking. Or does he have a Coke? That looks like a Coke bottle. It's arcade mode. Eh, I don't really care. Okay, so that is it thank you people for watching appreciate it i might be back tomorrow maybe not might try for sunday then again maybe not and then uh definitely next monday i'm gonna do something if not a new game then we'll do i guess oracle of ages so until then have a good day see you next time